Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac. Ooh, ooh. I said cognac. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm a bubbly blonde. Fabulously drunk. Association, and he has so much to say about this organization and what it has done and how it has actually helped him. First, tell my audience what meningitis is. What kind of a disease is this? Well, meningitis is a uh, tremendously devastating disease that uh, can attack uh, can attack the body very quickly. Um, it usually attacks uh, adolescents, teenagers, younger kids. And the scary thing is, is that you really don't realize you have it until it's too late, such as in my case. And once it attacks the body, uh, once it really shows itself, time is a, uh, is a very limited factor, which is why the vaccine is so important. Uh, there's been a vaccine out for, uh, oh, I don't know, a bit more than a decade. Um, but it's, uh, you know, it's really something that we're pushing. We're pushing to educate uh, as many families as we can. About right this. now, there's no demand for people to be injected with this vaccination. Am I right about that? Actually, there's quite a high demand, um, especially in uh, communities who have been affected by this. In the recent year, there's been uh, recent years, there's been um, different outbreaks around the country, and people are starting to really wake up and realize that this is a very scary ordeal. The problem is, is that not enough people realize either A, how serious it is, or B, that it's vaccine preventable, which is why the National Meningitis Association takes pride in the fact that they are uh, vaccinating many, many kids, working with uh, different uh, organizations around the country to, uh, to help promote it, and uh, working with the lawmakers as well to help, uh, help on the legal side. You look so much like your father. Uh, no, I'm better looking. I love it. I want you to tell my audience your story. What happened? How did this happen to you? Tell my audience the whole thing. Well, darling, as you put it, uh, I actually got hurt when I was 14. I was uh, at a summer camp, and I was hiking the Appalachian Trail when I came down with, uh, like so many other people who have been affected by this, I came down with uh, just what I thought was a bad case of the flu. Well, uh, in about 20 hours, a bad case of the flu turned into be, uh, me being rushed to the hospital, being induced into a coma, and given a 10% chance of survival. 
when my family and I were told uh, about this disease and and everything that it had done. I mean, when it, when we were told that it was out there, we were shocked, but we were more shocked by the fact that we didn't know that there was a vaccine that could have prevented it. So my mother really took it upon herself to uh, join with the uh, National Managed Association in, uh, in letting other families know about this devastating disease and about the fact that it is vaccine preventable. Wonderful, wonderful. And you've been working all along with the National Meningitis Association to get this, that every single school, every single hospital, everybody should be aware of this and everyone should be vaccinated. Every young person should be vaccinated. For a vaccine uh, preventable disease, this has a very, very uh, high rate of death. And um, the fact that it's preventable, no kid should be dying from something that, that so ridiculous, but why hasn't, why hasn't it happened yet, though? I just don't understand that. Well, it's happening. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's cross, a process. It's a process, and uh, it's, I mean, we've come so far in the past 10 years, and I'm very excited to see where we're going to go in the next 10 years. I want you to tell my audience where we could go to find out more information, how we can contribute, how we can support, and how we can donate towards this national, against fighting national meningitis. Well, uh, to, uh, to find more information, you can go to the website, which is nmaus.org. Um, again, that's nmaus.org. It's a wonderful website. It has all the information you need about where to find the vaccine, the symptoms, what the disease is, as well as fundraising information and how you can help. Um, every donation counts. Every donation is appreciated. And uh, at the end of the day, we're all, we're all really in the same fight together, and that's, that's trying to protect our kids. And save lives. And save lives. Exactly. And thank God you're here, right here today talking to me and trying to fight I'm it. very honored to be here. And we'll be back in a moment, darlings, with more interviews and more celebrities right here at Give the Kids a Shot National Meningitis Gala. Pink champagne kisses. until very, very, very late tonight. I got there, I started working this afternoon, it went later and later, then they switched two scenes, so I got to finish early, and I texted Gary, and I said, is it still okay when I get home if I can come over and say hello to everybody? Um, because I just want to tell you how important this evening is to me every, every year. Uh, it's a very important organization, it's a very important this event of course tonight you're not hosting it right. but you did come anyway because well, you're devoted and you're <laughs> you just love this wonderful charity and I, I do and this is a very important night for me every year and I was scheduled to film today which I did do actually so it was supposed to go much later than it did so they sprung me earlier than expected so I was able to be here so I'm really really happy that it worked out because it's a wonderful it's an important cause um, and uh, a great bunch of people, and, and it's it's and one of my 
miss it and you wouldn't miss it. No, no, no. And I tell my audience, you have been hosting this event for so many years. Several how, years. How yeah. many years have you been? I don't know, maybe four or five. How were you introduced to this organization? Well, I know the organization because I'm very close friends with the Springer family. And Nick Springer, when he was 14 years old, con contracted meningococcal meningitis. Um, I was very close with his mom and dad and with his grandpa. And so I sort of, I mean, I, ex I experienced third hand what they were going through as, as when Nick was sick and during his entire recovery period and it really opened my my wife and I our eyes were open to it and and then when uh, Gary and Nancy Nick's mom put you know st started everything started the ball rolling uh, for the organization it was nice I was very happy to get involved early on That's and you ha you are Oh, such a terrific actor. Oh, now, a lot, not too many people know this that watch television, but not only you, are you a movie actor and a film actor, but you're also a theater actor, I too. Am a theater. Sure. And that's your first love, the theater. It is my first love. Why, why did you want to be an actor? What was it about acting? Oh, I don't know. I was, I, was, I was born into a theater family. My parents were dancers. It was something I wanted to do when I was a very small boy. I started when I was about six, seven. You sound so, like me. Yeah, so it's when just... When I was like three years old, my father took me to the movies and I saw that big, those, that, that marquee and I wanted to be a movie star. <laughs> but I never became the movie star, but now I interview movie stars. Well, I don't have any other skills, so this is what I like to do. And you are here today to promote this wonderful organization. Yeah. Tell my audience, where can go to find out more information, how we can support, how we can donate, how we can Well, you can go to the National Meningitis Association website and uh, Google it, look it up, go there. It will tell you about the disease, it will tell you about the availability of the vaccination, and uh, it's a very, very important thing to be aware of so that at least each family can make its own choice about what it wants to do. But the important thing, especially for young people who are in high school, early college years where the disease is most aggressive. Why is that? Why does it only hit the kids, young? Well, it doesn't only hit the young. It hits people at all different ages. But when, when young people begin to become more independent and they begin to socialize and they interact, you know, and they're, they're sharing water bottles and they're living together in dorms and they're making out at a party or they're, whatever it is. You never did that. Oh, I never did any of that. Oh. When, <laughs> then, then they're more susceptible. And also because they're, they work really hard during college and high school, their, their immune systems get down. They're, they're a little bit more vulnerable to it. Is that how it spread, though? How is it spread? It's, well, it's aerobic. It's... it's it, uh, it's, it's spread much more easily than you might think. Not just by kissing. No, 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 by no means. No, no, it's, um, I think Nick got it from sharing a water bottle. Oh my God. Yeah. That's devastating, that's devastating. I want you to tell my audience where we can find out more information about you as an actor, where your next appearance is, where your next movie's <laughs> gonna be, where your next theater production is going to be on Broadway or Broadway. Well, right, website? right now, I just finished filming the first season of our uh, new show on FX called The Americans, which has been great fun, very exciting, and I'm doing, I'm guest starring on Law and Order this week, and then after that's done, I'm going to take my family to Europe for a vacation. Lucky you. Yeah. So, are you going to the south of France? Yes, I am. Bad. <laughs> well, I want to thank you, darling. Do you have a website? Do you have a Facebook? I don't. Do you have Facebook? No, I don't. We can't even get a hold of this guy. Give me a kiss. Picture. Thank you. I'm picture to see. And we'll be back in a moment, darling. Some more celebrity interviews. Keep watching. Free champagne kisses. Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. dressed to impress one of a kind girl has been a crybaby productions darlings